dear friend, we are in a time of difficult, we are in time of, of uncertainty where you don't know what will happen tomorrow. We are in time of difficulties. We have been invaded, attacked by the unseen enemy called COVID-19 caused by a uh, 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 virus that uh, is killing people and the affected people, positive cases are more than three million as we speak now. And many people have died in the hundred uh, thousands. And so people are afraid. People do not know the future. And in this case, if we are experiencing a time like this, we need, where do we go? Where do we go uh, when we are attacked? Where do we get help? And so, dear friend, uh, this time we are going to discuss uh, this in this sermon that uh, we entitled, Do you have peace and refuge in a disparate situation like this? Let's pray. Our kind and heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer. We come to you trusting that you are in control because nothing takes you by surprise. And we call upon you, Lord, to talk to us and give us encouragement and give us faith and give us hope in a time of hopelessness like this so that, Lord, we may be encouraged and we overcome this pandemic and we overcome the other pandemic that is not, not known very well by many people. And this is pandemic called sin that is sweeping people, that is killing even completely with no help. But with the help of Jesus, we hope that Lord, you will help us to overcome. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As I told you, we are discussing uh, a title that is saying, do you have peace? Do you have refuge in the time like this when you are you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are desperate when the situation is like this. Where do, you, uh, where do you go when you are threatened? When you try everything to navigate, when you try everything to come out of the trouble, where do you go? In life, we experience the difficulties, try here and there, but with no good results. In a case like this, where do you go? Come with me in the Bible, uh, Psalm 121, verse 1. It says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? The psalmist is, 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 is in a situation like this that we are in. And he is asking himself. And he's saying, I lift, I lift my eyes up on the hills. Where shall my help, where does my help come from? When we go through trials, we tend to forget about people in scripture who went through trials in life. 
But when they turned to God for help, he helped them. When we go to God and trust in him and take our worries to him in prayer, he will help us. He will help us. In our time of need, just like he helped others before, even he helped us before. Look at uh, uh, this verse that uh, is encouraging us today in a such a situation. Psalm 107, verse, verses 19, 20, and 21. And it says, They cried, then they cried to the Lord in the trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. I like verse 21. Let them give thanks to the Lord for, he, for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. The, the verses suggest that God is very kind uh, to us, we human beings. He is very kind to you, my friend. He is, he is taking care of you. He is loving you. He, is, he wants to take care of you. He wants to help you to overcome any problem, and including virus. Uh, we have different viruses in the world, and it has helped us in the past. The, 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 the worrying virus that is now attacking us, that has invaded the whole world in all countries, attacking us from every corner of the world, is this uh, 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 pandemic uh, called COVID-19. And this COVID-19 virus actually is not more dangerous than the virus called sin. Because even if somebody will, will, will survive uh, uh, COVID-19, when it comes to sin, people will perish. Because the wages of, wages of sin is death. Therefore, we need to ask God to help us in all areas of, of, of problems, including con pa pandemic uh, 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 coronavirus, uh, including sin, other diseases, in all aspects of life, because our God cares, and he is able to help us. Uh, let us talk uh, about uh, this, the, the, the problem that uh, people, people uh, went through in Israel. The nation or a country of Israel, during the King Hezekiah, they were attacked by Senekarebu, the king of Assyria, with a huge and experienced army, well equipped. The king of Israel, officials, and the, the army were afraid. They were trembling in the front of their enemy who besieged them. They were told that no way they could uh, go or get out of their hands. In other words, they captured all the cities. When you read Isaiah chapter 36, verses uh, 4 and 5, you see that the official army or field 
commander from Assyria threatened Israel army including the king himself Hezekiah and uh, he, 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 told, he asked them do you think words can repress military skills and mighty who do you think will help you against Assyria that is verse 4 in Isaiah 36 therefore he continued to threaten and uh, he insulted the king of Israel and Israel and the God of Israel the Almighty the Yahweh the Creator now the officials went back to the king and he talked to the king and informed all insults actually he even insulted Israel publicly and told the Israelites that they should not even be deceived by their king Hezekiah that the God of Israel can save them from the hands of Assyria the problem was big and uh, and uh, at that time when the king received uh, this uh, insult uh, this this insult and this uh, 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 these words that uh, were not easy for him in he was receiving words of intimidation they were intimidated and uh, they they said look we have no weapon weapon to fight uh, this enemy of us how can we overcome how shall we do this then the king remembered that there is a god in heaven called Yahweh, the, the, the mighty God, who is not like gods. He turned to God for help. He sent uh, his uh, official, I mean, I mean official, government officials to the king, to, to the prophet uh, 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 Isaiah. And uh, he sent the the officials with the, uh, these words <clears throat> excuse me he said we have no weapon to fight these enemies at the moment we 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 are now under threat we are in a time like when the children are ready to be born, but there is no strength uh, 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 to, 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 to push and give birth. We are desperate. Please, Prophet Isaiah, speak to your God. Uh, who is our God? Ask him to intervene. Ask him to, to, to do something to, to, to help us to overcome uh, this uh, enemy, uh, uh, Assyria. And so the, 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 the prophet said, don't worry. God is going to fight for you. In our case, or for the two viruses, one virus is coronavirus pandemic in this situation, in this case of ours. But we have another bigger uh, virus that is called sin, which kills completely and there is no life, there is no resurrection, because with sin, we die internally. 
in eternity with no hope. But this one, which is coronavirus, if you die believing in God, when Jesus returns, you will resurrect. I suggest that this, this pandemic scene is bigger than even coronavirus. But we have a great physician called Jesus who can save us from both viruses, the virus of sin and also the virus of uh, corona. Both of them, Jesus is able to defeat them. Like King Hezekiah, we, you, you and I need to humble ourselves before God in repentance and ask him to free us from the hands of unseen enemies, which is sin and the coronavirus. When you read uh, the uh, second uh, Corinthians chapter 5 verse 20, in verse 20, you will see uh, 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 this important point that, that Paul is making. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. The verse suggests that we should reconcile to God in a time like this, so that we go to him when we have no uh, any uh, problem with him, because he loves us and he gave us Jesus Christ and therefore, our reconciliation is through the blood of Jesus. Have you ever believed in Jesus? Don't give up. Continue. Believe and trust Jesus. Are you not a believer? I beg you, trust Jesus and reconcile with God so that he may rescue us uh, from the two pandemics. Let us put our heads in our hands together as we fight the enemy, coronavirus, by uh, praying to God that he intervenes quickly, that he brings his intervention quickly, that he may, he may inspire the scientists to get the, the solution quickly, and that is vaccine and also uh, the, 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 the remit. Because he can use them. After all, he created all human beings. All organs of human beings were created by Jesus. And also, he created our brains. He can inspire the brains of the, of the scientists to get the, 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 the vaccine and the remedy quickly. But he can also stop it in any way he wants or wishes because he is able, because he knows everything. All the remedies that are used in this world were created by God. Were created by God. And the people were created by God. And nothing takes God by surprise. Come with me in Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. And it says, I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand, and I will do all that I please. I mean 
that we, we should, at this time, at a such time like this, we should go to God in prayer. This is not a small God. This is Almighty God who predicts and he declare the end from the beginning, who knows everything, who knows why this pandemic happened. And actually, he knows why he accepted. Because if he cannot accept, then the pandemic can, cannot go. Who knows? Maybe he's teaching us in this thing so that we may come closer to him for help. We may see it po po impossible, but in God's hand, everything is possible. He loves us and he has power to act. What he wants from us is for us to trust in him. To trust in him. When, 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 when you look at how Jesus worked when he was in this world, all those who came to him with their diseases, he healed. The reprocy was something that is bad because nobody could come near a person who has reprocy. Come with me. We go through this, this scripture in Matthew. Matthew 8, Matthew 8, from verse 1 uh, through verse 3. When Jesus came down uh, from the mountain, mountainside, large clouds uh, followed him. Verse 2, a man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Verse 3, very interesting verse. Let me tell you. Jesus reached out his hand and he touched the man and he said, I am willing, be clean. Immediately, he was cleansed by his leprosy. See how powerful Jesus is. In, in, in leprosy, if you came closer to a person who has leprosy, immediately you are contaminated and you have it. Today, if you come closer to a person who has coronavirus, you are attacked. That's why you see gloves and, uh, and the other equipments that people are using so that nobody could uh, contaminate each other. But let me tell you, in this, in this case, we need to ask Jesus to stop this, like he stopped the leprosy uh, uh, and healed the man who came uh, uh, to, to, to him who had the leprosy. As we come closer uh, to the uh, conclusion of, the, of, 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 of uh, our sermon today, I want us to uh, also look at Isaiah, chapter 57, verses 18 to 19. And we look at the promises that the Lord is, is declaring, promising to give us. He says, I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners, creating, creating praise on their lips. Peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. The verses suggest that even though we are not good, 
that even though we may not have behaved well, but he has compassion and he has love. And he says, all the, all the same, I will heal them. And they are mourning because of their beloved ones. I want to create, I want to bring back the praises on their lips, not crying. But I want to change from crying to praises. And I want to declare peace, peace to those people far and near, says the Lord. And I want to hear them. It is, uh, it is our time now to turn to our God. It is time now to claim his promises. It is time now to ask him to stop this, these two pandemics, sin, and surely no remedy for sin. The remedy for sin belongs to Jesus and Jesus alone. And, uh, and even this pandemic coronavirus, Jesus is able to heal it, to stop it. He can just say a word and it will stop. But he can also uh, inspire the scientists and they get medicine. Because I believe all, all physicians, they work with God. It is God who gives them the knowledge and, and how to heal people. So even the hospitals, the hand of God is there. Let us continue to take precautions uh, on this uh, pandemic. But we need also to consider that there is a deadly one called sin. And we take both of them to Jesus for, 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 for remedy because he is able to heal us. In Jesus' name, I wish and pray. Let's pray. Our loving Father in heaven, we have gone through this sermon. We have seen how sin is deadly, even more than coronavirus. Heavenly Father, help us forgive our sins. Draw us nearer you. We claim your promises that surely I will hear them. When you claim, when you proclaim, when you declare that you will heal us, you are not healing us only malaria, not only simple diseases, but you will heal us from the spiritual leprosy sin. You will also heal us from, from coronavirus. Heavenly Father, it is our humble prayer through Jesus Christ that you lift up your hand and stop immediately this coronavirus that is sweeping people before they know Jesus, before they receive the, the, the salvation. But even those who received Jesus, we pray, Jesus, that you heal them and make them survive this coronavirus. We pray for the physicians, the doctors, the nurses, and all people in the hospitals because they are also affected. Heavenly Father, intervene and, and, and save them. Save the humanity, Heavenly Father. These are the people you created, you love. These are the people Jesus died for. Heavenly Father, it is our humble prayer that you come for our rescue. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.